Earlier this year, CoverGirl unveiled a new campaign from Droga5 that has a whole new positioning for the brand. It has a new tagline, I am what I make up, and it has new cover girls like Issa Rae and Mae Musk. I'm talking about this campaign for a reason. It's not only uh, a major shift for one of the biggest beauty brands on the market, but it's a radical shift in tone and it's reflective of a larger trend within the industry where brands are changing the way that they speak to and represent consumers. Beauty brands are not only looking to be more inclusive and reflective of the people who actually buy their products and their marketing, but they're also looking to change the way that they talk about beauty. So what's happening is not just that women of today are totally different than the women of yesteryear, it's that the way that we communicate with each other, the way that we communicate with brands has also changed. We are using social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram uh, to constantly be in a dialogue with each other and with brands. Yes, people talk to brands on the internet. Women are very different now than they were 25, 30 years ago, and in a really great way. And I think what we wanted to do was reflect, you know, a very positive cultural mood and where women don't want to be dictated and told, you know, what is beautiful. I think women kind of, you know, women want to decide for themselves, you know, what their beauty is, what beauty means to them, what beauty even means. With 17.3 billion, yeah, billion with a B, uh, dollars in annual sales at stake for brands that are sold at U.S. department stores or specialty retailers like your Ulta's or your Sephora's, it's really easy to see why brands are scrambling to do whatever they can to get consumers to pay attention to them. And that number? It doesn't even include sales for direct-to-consumer brands like Kylie Cosmetics or Glossier. I started Glossier because I saw an opportunity to democratize the beauty space. After I spent so much time engaging with our community on Into the Gloss, I realized that all of the existing beauty brands and companies weren't evolving past their top-down approach with their customers. They were very brand-to-customer or brand-appointed expert-to-customer as opposed to customer-to-customer. -customer. The beauty industry is changing and CoverGirl and Glossier are just two examples of that. For decades, brands were able to rule the conversation around beauty. Now, with social media and with more choices, consumers are empowered to make beauty how they want it to be, what they want to see, and force brands to uh, come along, whether they want to or not. Those that don't, I mean, maybe they won't exist in a few years.